In Creo Parametric, there are many ways to protect your intellectual property. Let's say that I have this part and I want to share it with somebody, but I don't want them to get all my feature rich information from the model tree because, hey, once they have that, what do they need me for anymore? One way that you can do that is by using File, Save As, and then Save a Copy. And if you go to the Type drop down list, you have a number of neutral formats here, like I just in step that can help. Also, there is the shrink wrap functionality, which will take a part and then let me click OK out of here, allow you to create, say, a surface subset, faceted, solid model version of this. But let's cancel out of here. I want to show you an additional version that was added a few versions ago. Let's go to the editing drop down menu. And at the bottom of the overflow is a command called collapse with collapse as the tooltip says it will collapse several features into one single feature. Before I do that, though, I want to show you a few other things about this particular model. If I select the top node in the model tree and then right click, I can go to information and then reference viewer. And we can see that this model has no external references. Also, if I go to the model intent overflow and then declare, I can list declarations. And it turns out this is declared to one other layout. I could break that if I wanted to, but I just wanted to show that this is by and large independent of any other models in here. Let's go to the relations dialog box. I have that icon in my quick access toolbar. We do have some relations here in the model. Looks like a number of them are even invalid, but there are some relations that drive this particular model. Also, if I go to the parameters, you can see that there are a number of parameters in here. And one thing about some of the different versions of saving, depending on the options that you choose, you could end up losing a bunch of these different parameters. And sometimes you don't want to do that. So let's take a look at this collapse command. I will go to editing and then collapse. And here's the dialog box that opens up. You could select all geometrically related features or just do a range of features. And I prefer to use range of features because I usually like to leave the default datums intact so that you have some geometry for doing operations, like if you needed to do an assemble and you didn't have the necessary surface references. So I just selected a whole bunch of features right out of the model tree. Here in the message area tells me that I have 1521 features selected. Here we have some other different options. You could keep analysis features, for example, features from the behavioral modeling extension. I can say, nope, I don't want them to have that. You also have the ability to keep annotation features. So for example, if you have any driven dimensions, geometric tolerances, you could keep them or you could say, nope, no annotation features. And here we have the option to keep published geometry features. I can say no to that. And we also have cosmetic features in here as well. So by doing this, a person is not going to get anything geometry or essentially feature related. When I click the OK button, it is doing some cranking. And that took a few seconds. Let me deselect everything. Here is the end result of the collapse operation. You can see a person just gets the geometry from the part. If you take a look in the model tree, all those features, those 1500 features are, are now replaced by a single independent geometry feature. Let's take a look at our relations. Now all the relations are invalid. So I might want to just select them and just delete all of them because again, these are related to dimensions that no longer exist in the model. So I can just delete them. No problems. But I still have all the different various parameters in here that can be shared with another person. Let's click OK out of there. And in this way, I am able to protect my intellectual property, but still able to share this model with other people. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, 
please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.